over here, Proxy. I trust your trip through the Endless Library was not too unsettling. The winding paths of Apocrypha can prove troubling to those unfamiliar with its preternature. Cypher's Midden contains a wellspring of knowledge. Shall we begin our research? The Cyphers of the Eye offer hospitality and refuge to mortals who arrive in Apocrypha, whether purposefully or by accident. However, I am reluctant to involve them in this endeavor. Fortunately, I have my own methods for conducting research. The contents of these stacks change from moment to moment, such as the nature of this realm's thirst for knowledge. I can prepare a spell scroll for each of us. As you search, it will dredge up anything related to the parameters I set for the spell. All research requires parameters. This spell should locate information pertaining to the Fulcrum Obscura, the Rite, and Torvasad's Lost Dream. Use the scroll's enchantment to aid your search. Then return here, and we shall compare notes. I wonder what's the Lost Dream of Torvasad. Scour the stacks, Proxy. The magicka I infused into your scroll shall assist you by retrieving any relevant tomes from their resting place. Meet me in my nearby study when you have completed your search. What a curious query. Where else would I research and ponder the knowledge that the one who knows deigns to share? It is a humble refuge, nothing more. Now, we really must see what information we can draw from the stacks of Cyphers Midden. You and Gidane recovered a portion of the relic, the Fulcrum Obscura, from the catacombs of Necron. The rite appears to be related to a black book once in the possession of Magister Melm. Both seem to be essential to the enemy's search for a dream. Apocrypha contains all secrets and knowledge. Whether they be dreams or memories or tomes, they all wind up here. We know that Torvasad learned something at the Tranquil Catalogue. We need to conduct our own research now and try to get ahead of them. That is what we must determine. The various repositories of Apocrypha are infinite. Books, glyphics, vaults. We have ascertained that if this particular secret is uncovered, it has the potential to destroy reality as we know it. That must not happen. Apocrypha. The oblivion realm of Hermaeus Mora. In life, I came here often. Traveler, I sense the... Have you lost your way, mortal? Apocrypha is as unforgiving as it is endless. Rest when you can, and be wary of the reaching ink. Have you found any ciphers or strange grimoires in your travel, stranger? There are tomes missing from our collection and several ciphers as well. If you come across them in your travels, bring them back. I would be grateful. Alaxalt is dead? That is unfortunate. She was a promising cipher. I looked forward to many profitable discourses with her, but Apocrypha holds many dangers for mortals. What kind of situation could she have gotten herself into? Why, this is the first volume of the Numinous Grimoire. It's one of the tomes that went missing from our collection. A dangerous book of forbidden knowledge. It destroys the mind of any mortal who reads it. I'd better take that. This is troubling. Talaxalt should have known better than to meddle with the Numinous Grimoire. I must look into this. Thank you for bringing back this book, and the news of Cypher Talaxalt's fate. Here, a reward for your trouble. 
strange tale. Why would this mysterious A kill a cipher who did as they asked? What's behind the promise to read the book together? Well, if you find any other dead ciphers or missing books in your travels, come tell me. We are scholars, scribes, seekers of knowledge, mortals drawn to Apocrypha from all corners of Tamriel. Here we help tend Hermaeus Mora's infinite library. In return, the Great Eye grants us access to its contents. Infinite knowledge. Hardly. Most mortals visit Apocrypha in solitude, seeking answers to questions important to them. But some of us come to realize that no ambition in the mortal world compares to what surrounds us here. We choose to stay in Cypher's Midden. Apocrypha can be dangerous for mortals. Cypher's Midden serves as a refuge of sorts. Here, those who follow the Cypher philosophy come together for protection. Creature comforts. Fellowship, after a fashion. It's not much, but now it's home. That makes two of us. There must be a connection between these ciphers. Something they have in common. But I do not know what it is. Which missing cipher do you want to know about? This sounds a bit, a bit like Mage's guild quest in a main, old main game. Talaxal? An Argonian scholar who didn't always fit in here. A free spirit of sorts. She valued knowledge in many forms. Songs, art, handicrafts. Talaxalt rarely bothered with books. When she wanted to know something, she sought instruction. It might have. Talaxalt sometimes made strange bargains with those she wanted to learn from. Dealt with entities few other ciphers know. Knowledge has a price, especially in Apocrypha. What else can I tell you? It might. I can think of a few entities who might use that monogram. Some mortal, some Daedra. I need to make some inquiries. Discreetly. If I ask the wrong question of the wrong person, I might put myself at risk. That is unclear. No mortal has read a volume of the Numinous Grimoire and survived with their mind intact. We think it deals with transformations, immortality, or so the Daedra familiar with the book tell us. They could be lying. Because ciphers are dead. The note you found makes it clear someone used my colleagues to get their hands on the Grimoire. Then this instigator repaid a cipher's help with death. None of us are safe until this mystery is solved. Mighty interesting. This stack might contain something important. It's burning up! Quickly! Grab whatever remains! When the Great Eye answered the prayers of the mortal prior Durden and granted him the runes needed to craft a relic of Apocryph for the Fulcrum Obscura, the Lord of Secrets imbued the runes with the power to locate and uncover secrets no matter where they may hide. And the prior inscribed them on an ancient bone related to Necrom's history. So it's it's Gilgamor Jill's bone that has spell of uncovering secrets, even something that uh, Hermamora would like to forget. Almost as though someone is eliminating these books the moment you find them. Hmm, at least you recovered something. Another disturbance ah. of the fate, and what do I find? The Great Eyes Mortal Surrogate. Again. Once again, the water of fate ripples with unnatural disturbances. As if some huge clod tossed a rock into a still pond. And what huge clod do I find at the center of these ripples? The Great Eye's mortal surrogate. As I explained on the mortal plane, I am tasked with aligning wrinkles in the annals of fate. How I accomplish that is totally up to me. But when something alters fate's prescribed path, it makes ripples. Just like the one I followed here. Interesting. 
It would be good to know more about what the agents of Vermina and Periite seek in my master's realm. Did anything out of the ordinary occur while you were conducting your search? I was afraid of that. Whatever you're involved in may be beyond my jurisdiction. I suspect the secrets you hope to uncover fall under the direct protection of Apocrypha itself. The Great Eye has put precautions in place to keep them hidden. It means you have been given an impossible task, and it may taint my otherwise spotless record. This is not good. Not good at all. Take whatever you learned and bring it to Laramal the Wise. Hopefully she can make sense of this conundrum. Of course not. Why would you, your only mortal? You were selected to help Hermaeus Mora save Apocrypha and Nern. To do that, you must uncover the very secrets the Great Eye's enemies pursue. Secrets that can unravel reality as we know it. Obviously, everything of Apocrypha is of Hermaeus Mora. Only through the Great Eye's will could the sacred tomes be destroyed. You were chosen, and then I was unlucky enough to become involved. For good or ill, our fates have become tangled. For me to complete my task, you must succeed in yours. Which is clearly impossible since you can't overcome Apocrypha's protections. Which means you won't be able to save fate. So I suppose it doesn't really matter. Reality will <laughs> unravel soon enough. Sun sunshine. There's like one trader and not much else. Midden stats have been reluctant to yield the answers I had hoped for. Apocrypha itself works against you. But the Great Eye surrogate had some success. Indeed. Show me, Proxy. Is it true? Were you able to successfully gather research on the relic, the right, and the lost dream? Every time I thought I found something relevant, it crumbled or burned up before I could examine it. So you experienced something similar? As though the stacks were actively trying to keep the information hidden. Still, you managed to save some of the research. A reflection of your role as Fate's proxy, perhaps. Let me peruse these pages. Hmm. This implies the relic was specifically created to reveal hidden secrets. Do these secrets pertain to the ancient cipher's report regarding the dream of a lost memory? And this last one? Could the enemy be seeking the infinite panoptical? Only one of Hermaeus Mora's most secure repositories of secret knowledge. It exists within a pocket realm of Apocrypha, but the entrance constantly shifts locations. Of course, they must be using the Fulcrum Obscura to reach the Panopticon. You and Gadain must use the part of the relic you possess to do the same as the enemy. Locate the entrance to the Panopticon. There are cairns throughout the realm. Sprinkle this dust of conjunction on three of them, then let Gadain apply the relic. Applying the dust to the three cairns I marked on your map will form a matrix of magicka. Gadain shall use the relic on each. Then I can perform a ritual to locate the Panopticon's entrance. I shall also give Gadain a gift. Something to protect him. A charm that will provide Gadain with some measure of safety as you travel through Apocrypha. Please keep him safe, Proxy. Even with the charm, he seems overly... Fragile. Each cairn should glow after the successful application of dust and relic. Research is often a series of trials and errors. But yes, this should work. In addition to its normal properties, the relic should also seek out its other half. After you activate the three cairns, return here. Then I shall complete the ritual. Today, take this charm. It shall mark you as my guest in Apocrypha, and keep you safe. That's... most thoughtful, Laramel. Thank you. The infinite Panopticon is kept hidden for a good reason, Laramel. Which is why we must locate it, 
and protect it from the enemy. This is the sort of quandary that makes my tentacles twitch. you were interested in that genre. I'll have to remember that. I suppose I just need to hold the relic out like so. It, it almost feels alive in my hand. It worked. Look how it glows. Very smart. Liramil's tapping into the realm's currents of fate to find the Panopticon. Okay, those sky shards are inside the cave. I don't want to hurt you, but now I'm going to. Liramil's amulet is close. Corrupted sea. All right, yeah, this is basically some kind of internal struggle in Apocrypha. The other keepers are never going to believe this. Usually when we misplace a relic, we find it behind a couch in the Abbey. You approach a mere shadow, mortal. The remnants break under the assault of invaders. Perhaps this is our Lord's will. Do you know the Dream Carvers? The servants of Vermina? As we speak, they tear apart our fortress, the Cenotaph. The remnants are... were... blades of Lord Hermaeus Mora. He imbued us with a portion of himself so we could defend his realm. For eons, this pact held. Now, the Dream Carvers may take our gifts for themselves. We secured the pact inside a space called the Crux. Should the Dream Carvers enter this space, our gifts become theirs to steal. Mortal, the invaders cannot gain these powers. Help us purge them from the Cenotaph. We reward aid when given. Any effort you provide puts us in your debt. The Cenotaph lies in the north. Just outside, you will find a group of surviving remnants. Look for Tiss. Stay cautious, mortal. The Dream Carvers attack your mind long before they reach your flesh. There was a time when any who walked through Apocrypha knew of us. We patrolled this realm for the Thieves of Secrets. Our reach extended to the mortal world, where we gathered any wisdom that deserved protection. <laughs> we were a force unmatched. This resembles a bit like one group in, in uh, Deadlands. An excellent question. We felt our power wane long before the Dream Carvers attacked. And now, we can hear so few of our minds. That which connects the remnants grows silent. When you reach Tiss outside the Cenotaph, ask her why this has come to be. We only know a little. The Dream Carvers caught us by surprise. They made no sound, no shouting, no crash of shields. Just a sharp feeling of loss as we fell, one by one. 
A call came to flee and rally nearby. <laughs> we did not bother to stop running. Hey. So this is basically cave area. So let's say this is basically a this is where you start. And this is like end game. Apparently there's several tunnels mined in the caves. But yeah, this is about about halfway. Very interesting. There's no technical reason why why you should do this. Other than it's like interesting obstacle placed in the middle of the playing area. Um, un unless it's connected to the main plot somehow. So they need, need to have, have this kind of area. But not all, all locations in in, um, in these the new, new DLCs actually are super important or designed with the, with the idea that it's, it's part of the story or mechanics or something. Some of these areas are just for the realism of the magical realism of the, of the place. Which is kind of taking a step forward from the, what, what it was in the main game. Because in the main game these, uh, especially when they had like horror these uh, areas are done, done with the idea of you starting somewhere, doing missions and doing the main quest from A to B during during the uh, going through the uh, this this area. And in Deshan, you start here, you do get the mission here, and you follow the quest. There's a story uh, quest in in uh, a and you follow the cult and, uh, until the last fight is over here. Edelon solo. So it's it's from the left to right. Or yeah, best to east. Kind of pretty pretty straightforward. Of course you can you can go this way and do side quests, but, but if you want to like do the quests, it's pretty basic. And and uh, it's happy. I'm happy to see that Zenimax uh, developers uh, got lots of experience under their belt and managed to uh, have managed to do really interesting stories and, and uh, game design in, in the latest DLCs. The cans have been activated, Maribel. Well done. Now, to complete the ritual. I see the ebb and flow of a pop. Some guide. Others right. Caramel, do be careful. Oh, the doesn't give up its secrets without a price. Spot it! Curate Gadain's concern is appreciated but unwarranted proxy. I have been sifting through Apocrypha's secrets long enough to know my limits. And the ritual performed just as I hoped it would. Still, I could use a moment to regain my strength. The ritual directed me to the desolate northwest reaches of the Chroma Incognito. I sensed the entrance we seek there, as well as the other half of the Fulcrum Obscura. Our enemy must have also located the entrance, or is close to doing so. Let me mark the location on your map. Go quickly, Proxy. I shall follow and meet you there after I make sure Curate Kadane gets back to learn safely. Go to the northwest region of the Chroma Incognito, and see what you can find, Proxy. I shall catch up with you in due course. Only what I read. It exists outside the time and space of Apocrypha, hidden from all. It supposedly contains many of Hermaeus Mora's most closely guarded secrets. 
The interior is said to be so bizarre that the very sight drives mortal minds insane. Do not fear. My decades of study have made me mostly impervious to the horrors of forbidden knowledge. And you are fate's proxy. You should be able to survive a visit to the pocket dimension. Besides, to save both realms, we have no other choice. Screwed. Please make sure Curate Gadain returns safely to Necron. His work here is done. But we still haven't recovered the other half of the Fulcrum Obscura. Listen, Larry, no mortal. Your mind would melt the moment you stepped into the Infinite Panopticon. I... but... Oh, very well. I'll return to Necron and see if I can learn anything more about the Hidden Kindred or Master Shelreni. Do be careful, my friends. I'll return to Necron with Scroot if Laramil thinks that's for the best. Just stay safe, my friend. And keep Laramil safe, too. Alright, this is good time to end. Uh, we managed to push to, through the some chapters of the or basically, basically, uh, PP part of the of the this DLC's plot, which is like doing doing stuff, invest uh, investigating the leads in in Apocryph. Uh, but I don't know how many parts the game actually has. Some would say that there's like two two acts or three or maybe even four some dlc's have been had had like pretty branching story that it expands quite quite a bit so that's that's something something uh, we need to f figure out later anyway um next uh saturday uh we have after summer games uh, Uh, dark corners of the earth, sky of Tulu, and it's uh, going to appro approaching the end of the end of the game. We'll see what we are going to play. Well. But I, I think I have a have a, a good time to play uh, Saturday. Just need to maybe maybe need to start a bit there, uh, later. That's that's all I think. So. That's that's something. Uh, in the midsummer, we are going to start new role playing game, which is like the new summer. So, it's definitely. I don't know how many of you want to see, but it's, it's one of those classic role playing games that deserve to be played, and it's good. It's a birth birthday, 30 years old birthday. So, we yeah, will see. But. Apparently, we are going to have a role playing game soon. So this summer. Let's see what happens in next next fall. I think September will be busy uh, for many reasons, but it's going to be like busy also. Big games are starting to start. Anyway, I'll bid you farewell. Uh, good night for now. And Thanks for watching.